Moving to oneness. Nourishing curiosity. Embracing differences. Becoming one. The month dedicated to love is almost over, but the love flowing never is. It's a fantastic thing. It's shareable, shareable, and it never becomes less. Isn't that fascinating about love, energy, and so much more? And we're moving now into the months of growth for me. March represents that. Maybe because it's also my birthday month. And that's when I love to blossom and the world outdoors blossoms. So hello everyone. I'm Mylene Elke, your host of the Moving to Oneness podcast. Yeah, so the love. How do you sense your own love? Do you provide love to yourself? Do you bask in it? Do you bathe in it? Do you envelop yourself with love, right? If it's this energy blanket, we can just swirl it around ourselves. Or you lean against a tree and let the love of the tree just emanate out to you and play with your energy field and your love field. And isn't this beautiful? It is this freedom to play, this freedom to ooh, genießen, right? That's a German word for flavoring, tasting, sensing the yumminess of love, of energy, like good food, good wine, a raspberry, <laughs> strawberry, you know, the red fruits, cherries. Red grapes, wherever you are, right? If you're somewhere in the southern hemisphere, you have all those grapes ready now to eat. This constant flow. You just have to step into that energy of love. And it swirls in you, through you, around you, above you, below you. <laughs> It's fun. I sense it's fun, 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 fun. <laughs> so what does that have to do also with growth? Yes, when you have fun and you're flexible and you're moving around and you're in this playfulness of this energy, you give yourself the ignition, the capability of growing into what you are. And we're called, all of us, especially you who's listening, to move into your optimal state, to be who you are, why you have come here onto this planet at this time right now. And when you notice that maybe the love doesn't flow so much, is it because of ways we have been taught to tighten ourselves? Is it because of ways we have been taught to set up shields around us, to create boundaries? And I would love to speak a bit about this because this is a topic that is very timely. Boundaries. Boundaries of our own body, boundaries that we put on ourselves, boundaries we have let others put on us, some were forced on us. The boundaries we put on animals, that they are in a way encaged. So are you encaged? Do you feel in some ways encaged? I had to think about this, right? Let's stay with the animals for a second. 
we're engaging animals extremely for food, for pleasure. We do that with our own children, right? We put them in crates so that they are not free. We still utilize ideas of others, even though so often I have noticed mothers or fathers, they don't feel comfortable with it, but because it's written in books. So f become fine-tuned more and more. What are you reading? Is this really the truth for you, for your children, for other children? Why are books like this still printed or written or sold, right? So why do we have to put a child in a crib when it's calling to be close, cuddled, comforted, held, wants to crawl around? It's practical. You silence a child. You do the same with the dog. I, I wish, please. It's a fad again that more and more people are putting dogs in crates, even in their home. Instead of taking the time to learn more about the behavior of an animal, of a dog, and how do I have to change my own behavior so the dog's behavior changes, right? Why do we take that freedom away? Make an animal, a child, feel so uncomfortable. And where do you do that with yourself? Where do you squeeze yourself into a room and cut yourself off of everything else? Why do we put children into a room uh, when we get angry or they don't do what we want to do? Instead of figuring out why are they not doing what you want them to do. Go into discourse. Leave the doors open. Then also we don't have to close doors. We have so many doors closed. I wish we would open so many doors. Everyone is wishing at the moment for gates to open, stargates to open. But we still keep on closing doors, 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 doors. Take a moment and think why. And which door are you comfortable right now in this moment of not shutting anymore? And, you know, maybe it is just that you close it, but it's not locked. Or you close it and it's not in the lock, right? You just push it shut so you can, a cat can come in and open it and push it open. And then maybe you little little space open between and fresh air can come in. And maybe one day you're able to open it up. Right? Sometimes we're hiding also. Why are we hiding? So these are fantastic questions to look at growth. It's easy to speak about growth and too often we don't look at what traumatic experiences we had that tighten us up. And so send love into these situations you have experienced or that you're experiencing at the moment. Where are you we engaging what other people want to express by not listening till they finish their sentence or just being present when they're in silence. Yeah. And if we look at the bigger picture of animals, right, we put them in a corral, I think horses, right, or in stables and Luckily, there are less and less stables where horses can only stand. But they want to lie down too. And really, they don't want to be in separate single uh, stalls. They like to be together. And we as human beings love to be together. And we are so trained to be separate because then we are also more controllable. And how do you separate yourself from others? So see how things may change if you decide to open up to others, to be more with others. Who do you feel comfortable being with? Sharing your wisdom with, listening to them, right? That starts a growth ignition within. It also creates a, a, a soil that is fruitful. 
And I have to think about a beautiful story of the Native Americans, or a Native Russians and even Native uh, Europeans, right? They say when the buffaloes, the Vicens, they roam together around the world again and intermingle. And like these energies of love, right? They, they move together around the, our beautiful globe. They're not separated by fences. So they can roam or they're not shut down, <laughs> which still many are. So they don't roam into other areas where people have fences up. And when they all can roam together again, then we will have peace on this earth. So how do we get there? This is, I've been contemplating this the last few weeks. How can we dissolve these boundaries, even of countries? How can we dissolve the nationality in a way? Right? Because that happens then. Because then we're not German, then we're not Swahili, then we're not Peruvian, uh, we're not even Ukraine, or right? We're not, we're just a beautiful being here. So let's these borders to solve. That means, do we need land to live on? Fight for our own little house? Do we need real estate? This is really interesting. I mean, I know I'm going very, very far out there, but sometimes we have to go really far out, zoom out, to come back in and find new solutions, right? The same is happening in uh, agriculture. Why monoculture, maybe now you have two or three together, but if you look at a meadow, the swale, the plants are, are, are like a swale, like an energy field, right? The, if you would draw a field of energy, it's like a swoosh. And plants on a meadow grow like a swoosh, and there are a thousand different plants on one meadow, flowers, herbs, intermingled, and sometimes there are many, and then there are single ones, and then they intermingle with the other. There is this interweaving, this interplay, and this is where I would love everything to get back to, and I know you as well. So just taking the time now to look at this, especially when we are now in this chaos. So when we want chaos and no chaos, I mean, we don't want chaos anymore. Do we want it as before? Very regulated and regimented and separated? No, I don't think so. We want this newness and we have to open up our heart, our breasts, our chests our body expanding so how can that simply start so that we see each other for who we are we see an animal for what it is i see you for who you are i see myself as what i am right and we see the trees for what they are bringing So inhale and an exhale is the beautiful beginning, right? My air plays with the air of something else and I savor it. Ah, oh, that's the word I was looking for before. <laughs> Savoring the air, the differences of everything that exists and the differences in me and exploring, understanding, observing, becoming aware. And that is fun. Do you notice when you say, oh, yeah, this, ah, that, oh, you're a little tight. How can I change it? Your mind becomes adventurous. Your growth expands, becomes potentially bigger. And if you play with others, even the ideas get enlarged, right? We don't only have one vision. If we train ourselves, we can hold seven visions at the same time. We can work seven times faster. Right? Not just one intention. We can have seven intentions totally focused on and create that. Let's go for it. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Let your mind be open 
up let your spirit be open up and a fun thing to play with right it's with the energies in your hand rub them together make them hard maybe clap them for a second and sense how you're already playing with the energy between your hands and when you pull them apart and bringing your hands closer together you can feel the life in between the density the softness the warmth the coolness maybe depends how you may even see the colors that are flowing in between already and then you keep on moving further out with your hands and you can sense the energies in between like you're pulling them a little apart i have to think about the chinese right or korean and chinese they they have this beautiful way of making noodles with this dough they just throw it between their hands and they pull it and extend it and pull it and extend it and suddenly they have these long 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 <laughs> three meter long noodles so this is how you can play with the energy and then your hands can move around your body you play with your own body and your energy and you play with the Maybe the table's energy in front of you or maybe the chair you're sitting on or the tree outside, the plant outside. And you get moved and we get movement. We move out of this fixated state we have been trained to be put in and we have been urged to be in. And now we're saying no more. No more. These shackles, these boundaries, these we're dissolving them. You're dissolving them because you're becoming aware where they are. The moment you concentrate on it for a second, and poof, they disappear, they dissolve. <laughs> so play with that, play with that. And keep on moving your hands a little bit and go and send out beautiful, loving energy to the world and fertilize the ground below you and so yet you can grow and you're invited then by a tree by a mountain to play with its energy as well and you together can create things you haven't fathomed right now and you couldn't grow into something you have not fathomed possible you're so vast i'm so vast we're so vast we have a knowledge of the whole cosmos in us and this is what we're moving into by bringing that love to ourselves, emanating that love out to the world, playing, spiraling with that energy of love and any other energy that you desire to grow into this magnificent being of light with a vibration holding the able to hold the vibration higher vibrations for longer and longer and longer the body reforms your neurons right your whole nervous system changes reforms with that growth and how i sense the energies i don't know there are so many beings here and this beautiful song is coming for this so that We feel comfortable, you feel comfortable, I feel comfortable with going beyond. And not having the beyond, like in a separate, we all go like next to each other. But this interweaving again of these energy fields, right? These swales that go and swooshes that go with each other, in each other, this playfulness, it creates this lightness, it creates this excitement, it ex this justo, these flavors, these new explorations. <laughs> this is just so beautiful. This is for this month what I desire for you to begin and never ever stop we're so supported right you'll feel that the landscape pushes you forward or sometimes it pulls you for to them and so it, go outdoors and see where you're led how you're walking even in on the ground right there are these energy swooshes field it's never very seldom a straight line yeah you can watch how animals walk they don't walk a path. You can watch children. They don't walk the straight line. They go off the <laughs> pavement. I don't know if why we even do it this way. 
anymore, right? Let's create more pathways, walkways that follow energy lines. Then again, someone just with the drawing board dictated where a line, a street, a walkway, a country's border is. Done with that, done with that, done with that. So go into your lovingness of playfulness, of this light, that play of light, of these different energies, their golden ones, their blue energies, their red energies, silver energies. They're just ah, pure yumminess <laughs> within you. Feel that movement, your whole body. You notice maybe how, what happens when you do that, uh, wrinkles disappear. We're talking so often about getting used. We don't have to cream so much and put your energy on yourself. Your loving energy changes your physique. Changes your physique. There's a song and a few beings here to support us with this expansion and exploring the expansion and, and you know this pulsation there's this pulse this in and out this rhythm this dance yeah so you can feel more free and freer and free free <laughs> in trying out things in dissolving restrictions for yourself and for others. And becoming observant where they're put on others by others. And maybe those that we dissolve, right? How do we plant our gardens, our fields? How do we speak to others? How do we plant the forests? Or You know, it's an unending topic. I know it's huge. But it all comes together is when we say, Yes, to being who I am, to being who you are, being who we are, and seeing that we're so connected as we are to everything, and that we can be curious in exploring what it is, and we don't have to be afraid. Yeah? It's maybe a little uncomfortable when something is new and we don't know what is coming. But that also is this excitement. So go for it. I invite you. Go for it. Bundle 
The boundary of age wants to be solved as well. The wasn't <laughs> ancient one, so we can live so much longer. That's another restriction. <laughs> There's another song coming. <laughs> I could sing probably enough for hours. <laughs> Oh, this is so much fun. Mohinia Mohinia flexible being that you are. Have fun with it. Be courageous. You're supported by everything out there. By everything. Just open up your arms wide. Open your chest, your heart and sense what's out there for you. Who envelops and plays with you. And you, you can envelop and play with. Growing through the magical being you are, full of light, lovingly. Bringing change for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I sense this energy now. <laughs> Just simply, I love you. I love us. <laughs> I'm Eileen, the Moving to Wonders podcast. Goodbye and the best. Exploration and fun for you.